Hi friends, welcome to A to Z learning channel. Today's video is about six talks. Yes, six talks that we think are best place to offer you excellent opportunity to invest. They all have the potential to give you fantastic long term return. In this video, we'll talk about each company's stock in detail so that you get to understand why we think they are best place to give you best return in the future. But before we start the video, let me kind of make it very clear that this video is not advisory in nature. We are not indicating, we are not advising you to kind of go ahead and buy these stocks straight away based on uh, the content in this video. You must consult your financial advisor and look at your overall portfolio before you commit to invest. This video is purely and purely educational so that we raise awareness, we simplify the concept so that it helps you make the right decision. But don't take this video's content as our advice to make the decision. I hope this makes sense. So without any further delay, let's start our video. As I said, in today's video, we'll talk about six stocks that we have picked up after a holistic comprehensive research. We think these six stocks are well placed to offer you great long term return. So let's talk about each stock in detail. First stock is IPCA Laboratories. It's a stock, it's a company. First of all, let's understand what, what do they do. First of all, let me kind of remind you that globally, India is known to be the largest provider of generic drugs. Indian pharmaceutical sector supplies almost 50% of global demand for various vaccines with 40% of generic demand in the US and 25% in the countries like UK. At this, with this as a context for the industry, we believe, we believe very, very strongly that IPCA Laboratories is well poised to drive maximum mileage with its impressive product portfolio research and development expertise. They are well placed to really grab the opportunity that global demand is presenting to the, for the pharmaceutical sectors. And we feel given their history, they have been in this business, they, they, are, they have been like consumer led pharmaceutical company for number of years. They, they create healthy, they have been creating healthy doses of life since 1949 so it's a it's a company with a strong legacy from strong history so that we believe it's a well-placed company to give you best return now let's understand some of the kind of basic detail why we think these this company is well placed first of all let me remind you this company has got a market capitalization of over 23,000 crore so it's a big company it's a large company they have offered the stockholders or the stock investors have uh, enjoyed a return of 36% over one year and over 200% in the last five years. So it's a company which has got strong credential in terms of delivering great return to its investors. P /E ratio, which is uh, considered as a good indicator to assess whether it's a good, va good value for investment or not. Their P /E ratio is less than the industry. Their PE ratio stands at 38, whereas industry is at 40. So on that basis, it will pull, it will indicate you that it's a good value for money. I personally don't overthink about PE ratio because PE ratio works only in the matured industries where you have got nice competition, nice big companies operating. But there are many sectors in India where industry is not yet fully developed. Large concentration of that industry is with one or two players. And that's where as an investor, you can only invest in one of those two companies. Therefore, their P ratios can be very high compared to uh, the industry. So I don't see this as a kind of uh, benchmark for all the industry, but clearly for pharmaceutical where IPCA operates, it's a it's a good indicator and PE ratio is favorable for IPCA when I look at long term. In last five years, IPCA has also delivered better than industry 
growth in terms of their revenues and profits. So again, very, very strong credential. The other indicator that I strongly going to look at is uh, what analyst who on a day to day basis uh, analyze all the companies in, in the in the Indian market, they collectively 74 percent of them. So if there are there are 100 analysts who are studying all these markets, 74 of them are recommending to buy IPCA laboratory. So it's a very, very strong signal. The other most important factor in my view is IPCA is already down roughly about 25% from their 52 week high price. So all these factors put together, I believe, present you a excellent opportunity to accumulate, excellent opportunity to invest, excellent opportunity to enter into the this particular stock. And that's the reason we feel this stock is well placed to give you great long term return. Now let's move to the second company. Second company is Asian paints. Again, when you think about Asian paint industry, you think oh, when you think about paint industry in India, there are only a couple of names that come to mind. Asian paint is clearly one such big name. And as I was saying that when you look at the PE ratio of a sector, which is not yet matured in terms of number of players, it can be misleading. And paint industry is, is very, very heavily concentrated. The significant market share is with Asian paint. So anyone looking to invest in the paint sector will end up buying Asian paint. So therefore, their PE ratio will always be higher than the industry. So I believe uh, in the paint industry context, context PE ratio is not a good indicator. But let's understand uh, what's their market capitalization. Their market capitalization is 218,000 crores. So it's a very, very large company. Their return is fantastic. Asian paint has always given excellent return in their entire history. When I look at their one year return number, 27% return. Five year, over 160% return. And as I was saying, PE ratio is probably misleading in the paint industry sector. Their PE ratio is 81 as against industry of 29. That looks high. That may indicate that it's very, very expensive stock to hold. But I don't believe in that because paint industry is dominated by Asian paint. Shareholders have had excellent return on this stock historically. It's a rapidly growing company. It has got the significant market share. It's the largest player in the paint sector. Therefore, P ratio is probably misleading. The analyst community also not um, very kind with Asian paint currently. Only one out of three analysts are recommending to buy this this particular stock and i think some of that is happening because uh, market is seeing paint market is seeing some of the new entrant for example indigo paint who have recently came in the market with their ipo as is, is kind of attracting a lot of new investors Grassim, the Aditya Birla group have recently announced that they will be entering into the paint market. So there is there is that uncertainty in the market or a shakeout that analysts are probably projecting in the in the paint industry. But Asian paint is not new to the competitors. They have had players like Berger Paints, Narolek. You, you kind of name it. Uh, there are many players which have entered at some point time in the in the past but Asian paint has always stood tall and I've always delivered excellent return to its shareholders. So I personally believe it's a stock uh, well placed to bounce back and will always kind of give you great long term return. And it's a good time to enter also in the Asian paint stock because it's already down almost 20 percent from its peak of last one year. So Asian paint is our second uh, stock that we have picked up for great long-term return. Now let's move to the third stock. Third stock is Bandhan Bank. It's a banking stock as, as uh, you know. It's a relatively small bank compared to some of the other banks, uh, but still it's a, it's a bank with a market capitalization of over 55,000 crore. Their return in the recent past or over five years has been negative because stock has corrected quite significantly. And banking sector as a whole 
has had the uncertainty of NPAs on the back of pandemic, and and that has not spared Bandhan Bank either. Their one-year return has been minus 10 percent, and five-year return has been 20 minus 27 percent. But let me remind you, when I talk about these returns, these are stock returns. These are not the profits of the bank. Profits bank is still profitable, makes good money, but these are what shareholders have earned. If you entered about a year back, your stock is overall down 10% is, is what it is indicating. PE ratio is very good and it's a relatively mature industry with players like Kotak Bank, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, SBI. So you've got a kind of industry full of very, very established large players. So industry average for the PE is about 30, whereas Bandhan Bank's PE is at 16. So again, it's a good value for your money. In last five years, their profits and revenue both have grown better than what industry has seen. Clearly, it's a small bank, so it has grown from a smaller base. So from a percentage terms perspective, they will always look good. But that's the reason they provide you that opportunity to enter. And analyst community, uh, almost eight out of the 10 analysts uh, are suggesting that they should, uh, they, they are recommending to buy this particular stock. This is also has been corrected. Bandhan Bank stock has been corrected recently. It's already down about 20% from its recent 52 week high. So all these factors put together in my view present a solid opportunity for you to accumulate. If you're already holding Bandhan Bank, buy more. If uh, you're not yet into Bandhan Bank stock, then it's an excellent opportunity for you to enter and buy and invest, invest your money in this. I hope so far the content that we have talked about is making sense. If you're liking our video, please press the like button and share with your friends. And if you've not yet subscribed and new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel A to Z Learning. So let's now move to the fourth company that we have picked up. That's Hindustan Unilever Limited. As you would all know that it's a very, very large company. It's amongst the top five or six companies by market capitalization. Their market capitalization is 500,000 crore. So you can imagine it's a very, very large company. It has got huge presence all over India. They have been present in India for a number of years, huge legacy. Their one year return on stock is down 2%, but five year return, as you can see on your screen, is more than 150%. Again, their PE ratio is higher than the industry. So they are at 68 versus industry of 46. But again, as I said, I won't read them that too much because when you look at the FMCG sector in terms of listed stock, though new companies are coming in, your choices are limited to companies like Hindustan, Unilever, Britannia, Nestle, these sort of kind of companies. So you don't have a huge, huge kind of uh, set of companies of lar large companies or to invest. When I look at their last five years performance, again, they have uh, beaten every other player in the industry in terms of revenue and growth. Uh, they have been best. And uh, in their case also, I would say almost eight out of the 10 analysts are recommending to buy this stock. And most importantly, the stock is already down 18% from its 52 week high. And that presents a great opportunity for you to enter and, and buy this stock. Now let's move to the fifth stock uh, that we wanted to share with you. It's IGL. IGL is a in the gas distribution, CNG gas distribution business. It's a big player. It has got it distributes the gas and CNG within the NCR region. Um, it has good market capitalization of 34,000 crore. Their returns over one year is 11% and over five years is over 380%. Their P is slightly higher side. Again, this sector is not dominated by uh, many players. It has got a uh, couple of players only in the market. That's the reason its pay ratio looks a bit higher. Last five years, again, revenue and profit growth has been fantastic and best ever. 
and almost six out of the 10 analysts also recommending it to buy. It's also down about 17% in the recent past, so provides you an excellent opportunity to enter into this stock. If your portfolio is missing any of the gas utility sort of company, then this is an excellent stock for you to uh, consider buying after you have consulted your financial advisor. And the last company that we are picking up is from IT sector, HCL, HCL Technology. It's again a very large company with a capitalization, market capitalization of 246,000 crore. Their both one year and five year return are positive 70% and over 120% respectively. Their PE ratio is below the industry average and HCL Tech is part of a mature uh, industry where you have players like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, uh, Tech Mahindra, and many other small players as well. So it's a more mature sector and, and their PE ratio is less than their sector's average. Therefore, it's a great uh, buying opportunity for you. Their revenues and profits are highest in the industry. The growth is highest in the industry in the last five years and almost nine out of 10. So pretty much everyone is recommending every analyst is recommending to buy this particular stock so it's a it's a great opportunity if you take too longer then you may not have this opportunity for too long because everybody's eyeing this particular stock looks like and it's also down 15 percent from its uh, 52 week high so we feel that these six stocks uh, present you an excellent opportunity to invest and benefit from long-term return on these stocks. We really hope that uh, you like the content of this video. If you've not subscribed to our channel A to Z Learning yet, we would urge you to please subscribe and become part of our viewers family. Our viewers family set the agenda for the future video, help us decide the topic that we should pick up for the future video. So please become part of our viewers family, viewers community, so that you can also make suggestions on the topic that are relevant for you, that are important for you. So thank you very much for watching our video. Good luck with your investment decisions. Thank you.